On Sunday night, I got the chance to see the biggest game of Iowa's season against Illinois and Champaign. The Hawks were focused on the chance of a double bye, but I was focused on two specific players and how their intensity shined during the game. The last game of the Big Ten regular season brought together two of the country's best big men, Luka Garza and Kofi Coburn. Luka more than doubled Coburn's points, but the Illini are the ones who got the win. I mean, he's a tremendous player. For his age, how athletic he is, how big he is, how strong he is, is there's some no, I don't think we've seen in this league for a long time. Just to come in seven foot two ninety and, and just build and and able to score on the rim and, and rebound and block shots. You know he's a he's a problem. So you know I love I love playing against the best players and the best best athletes. You know and and, and that's what we you know that's that's one of the best bigs in the league right there. And he's only a freshman, so that's you know quite an accomplishment for him. And as if it was written in a movie script, the last play came down to Luca versus Kofi, and Kofi got the win. That's one of the best, I feel like that's one of the best matchups you're going to see out of five men in the country. Uh, you know, Kofi, I mean, he's just a mammoth dude. He's just gigantic. You know, he, it's like you, you go up to him, you try to push him, he doesn't even, it's like you're a little fly. Like Playing almost the entire game, Luka received nothing but praise from his head coach. Uh, very few guys can pay, play with that level of intensity against that level of physicality for that long and continue to be effective. So, you know, we're just very fortunate to have him and we're going to utilize his talent and his tenacity. Reporting from State Farm Center in Champaign, this is Dallas Jones, DITV. It's that type of intensity that makes March the best time of the year for basketball. The Hawks still have a single bye in the Big Ten tournament, so they will play the winner of Minnesota and Northwestern on Thursday afternoon in Indianapolis. But despite the loss to Illinois and losing out on the double bye, there was some good news out of Iowa basketball yesterday. That's right, Dallas. To no surprise to any Hawkeye fan or really Big Ten fans anywhere, junior center Luca Garza was named the Big Ten Player of the Year. Garza is the first Hawkeye to earn this award in 52 years and is also a finalist for the Wooden Award and the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar Award. And in 20 conference games this season, Garza averaged 26.2 points per game making him Iowa's first Big Ten score leader since 2007. He hasn't let up on his 20-point scoring streak either, stretching it to 16 games against Big Ten opponents. And ranked opponents don't phase him either. That's right, Tanner. In 11 games against ranked opponents this season, Garza averaged a double-double with 26 points and 11 rebounds. Other Hawkeye ballers joined the party too. Redshirt freshman C.J. Frederick was named to the All-Big Ten freshman team, and sophomore Joe Wieskamp was a third-team honoree. And sophomore Connor McCaffrey earned the Men's Basketball Sportsmanship Award. Garza joins Kathleen Doyle and Spencer Lee in Big Ten Player of the Year honors, making Iowa the only school in conference history to have the Player of the Year in men's basketball, women's basketball, and wrestling all in the same year. So I'd say a good winter season for Iowa sports. Luca Garza and the rest of the team will try to ride this momentum into their game on Thursday. Jumping from the court to the mat, the 30th ranked Jim Hawks earned super scores at their superhero and princess team home meet against West Virginia. The Jim Hawks won three out of the four events against the Mountaineers and ended up on top with a final score of 196.75 to 196.175. Sophomore Lauren Guerin won vault with a score of 9.9. .9. She also won the floor exercise with a score of 9.95. While freshman Ellie Rogers won the uneven bars with a score of 9.875. The Jim Hawks broke their team season high all round and will be back in Carver this Friday for senior night. Dallas, I think in the light of this wonderful weather we're having, we should switch it over to spring sports. Well, Tanner, you're in luck. The Hawkeye baseball team opens a two-game series against Kansas tonight at 4 p.m. at Dwayne Banks Field. Be sure to come back tomorrow for a recap on how the Hawks did on the diamond. Bailey, back to you.